Now, another news today, gunned down on the job. Police continue to search for suspects in a pizza delivery man's killing in Overbrook Park. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden spoke to those who knew the victim, and he joins us now from Philadelphia Police Headquarters. Joe? Yuki, and what is troubling is let's go 10 days ago when police say they were investigating another case where a delivery man was robbed. Now, he was not injured, so whatever happened last night escalated to a fatal shooting, and tonight, a man, a 30-year-old man from Ardmore, is dead, and his family is at a loss for words. Quattrell Blocker will remember his cousin Bobby Jenkins as a decent man, looking to make some extra money delivering pizzas. Me and him, like I said, we got a connection, and with that going, it's, like I said, it's real tough for me. And it's tough for everybody, but it's, for me, it's, 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 it's bad. Jenkins on Tuesday night was fatally shot once in the chest after police say he was lured to a vacant home in the 7600 block of Woodcrest and robbed. George Economo, owner of Stacy's Pizza, said Jenkins just started working for him. The kid came here a couple of weeks ago, asked for the job. I tried to give him some days, and he was a very nice guy, actually. I was talking to him the other day. I say, Bob, you're a very good guy. Maybe you need more days. I give you more days. Police say the fatal holdup has key similarities to another robbery. The delivery driver in that case was not hurt. There was an additional robbery of a delivery person committed on Sunday, February 17th, 9 o'clock p.m. at 652 North Brooklyn Street in the 16th District, uh, which bears a strong resemblance to this incident. Chloe Saunders knew Bobby Jenkins about as well as anybody. This is a 20 year friendship and he's a daily part of my life. She said he was always there for her and others. He's trying to make some extra money to start his own business and three weeks shy I and mean, he's, you know, it was taken away from him. So it's just really unfortunate that you can't feel safe in your own neighborhoods. And Philadelphia police say that Bobby Jenkins was definitely robbed. However, they would not reveal what was taken. They would also not comment on if they were able to obtain any surveillance video from that Overbrook Park neighborhood. So far, again, no arrests in the case. Reporting live outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Joe, thank you.